Hello friends, this is Ritik M. Goyal from AIMS New Delhi. Now in this lesson I will tell you about the circulation in human. So, now I will trace the normal circulation pattern, the general circulation pattern of a human being. Now it starts from the left ventricle. Now from the left ventricle it goes to all our body parts through a network of capillaries. You can see here this is all a network of capillaries. Then from, then from the veins the blood enters into the right atrium. Now from the right atrium the blood moves into the right ventricle. Now from the right ventricle the blood escapes through the pulmonary trunk and enters the pulmonary system or the lung. Uh, so in the lungs it uh, goes into the pulmonary capillaries and from the pulmonary capillaries it goes through the pulmonary vein into the left atria. Then again from the left atrium it undergoes into the left ventricle and uh, the whole uh, system of circulation is repeated like this. Now uh, you can see here that uh, all the blood shown in blue color is deoxygenated while the blood shown in red color is oxygenated blood. Now th uh, here you can see that there are two loops forming one is this and one is this. Now th the uh, loop which distributes the blood into the all the parts of body is known as systemic circulation while the loop of circulation which uh, takes the deoxygenated blood into the lungs and uh, brings back the oxygenated blood into the heart is known as pulmonary circulation loop so combinedly both of these loops is known as double circulation and it is the characteristic of mammals now here you can clearly see that uh, from the left ventricles the oxygenated blood into the body this is systemic circuit and back uh, through the veins into the right atrium from the right atrium to the, through the right ventricle it uh, goes into the pulmonary circuit with low oxygen and high CO2 and enters the lungs and brings back the oxygenated blood so it, the blood here is high O2 and low CO2 now we will see the characteristics of pulmonary circulation now pulmonary circulation is also known as the low resistance circuit now it starts from the right ventricle and terminates into the left atrium as we have seen earlier only now uh, it passes through the lungs the blood passes through the lungs so the right hand side of the heart is also known as the pulmonary heart now we can see the systemic circulation systemic circulation is the high resistance circuit because the blood has to traverse whole the whole all over the body while in pulmonary circulation it is the low resistance because the lungs are very near to the heart and uh, there is very less resistance so it is also known as low resistance circuit now systemic circulation starts from the left ventricle and terminates into the right atria and uh, it pass the blood passes through various organs now left hand side of the heart is also known as the systemic heart now we will see about the vessels from the heart blood traverses through the artery artery then there is arteriole which is the smaller part of the artery then arteriole gives rise to capillaries now from the capillaries venules are formed and venules joins to form a vein now vein enters the heart and artery leaves the heart now we will see differences between the arteries and veins but first let me describe you about the walls of vessels now the blood vessels have uh, three layers which are tunica externa tunica media and tunica intima or tunica interna now tunica externa is made by connective tissue fibers which is mainly collagen and it contains external elastic lamina these are the characteristic you must remember these now tunica media have internal elastic lamina and it is made up of smooth muscles this is very important now tunica intima have connective tissue and endothelium now endothelium is of simple squamous epithelium type of tissue now we will see the differences between the arteries and the veins now the artery carry blood away from the heart this is the general rule that artery always carries blood away from the heart and veins carries blood towards the heart now the wall of arteries are thick while that of vein is thin lumen will be narrow if the wall is thick and lumen will be wide if the wall is thin now BP in arteries is more because arteries 
receive the blood directly from the heart so bp or the blood pressure is more in the arteries while uh, the veins have less bp and the arteries are generally deeply placed while veins are superficially placed now the blue colored vessels which you see over your hand is generally the veins only now there is jerky movement of blood in the arteries while the jerky movement is absent in the veins and there is smooth movements valves are absent in arteries there is no need of valves while in veins valves are present to prevent the backflow of blood also the systemic circulation arteries carry the oxygenated blood while in veins in systemic circulation deoxygenated blood is there also in arteries pulmonary circulation have deoxygenated blood while in pulmonary circulation of veins in veins oxygenated blood is present now we will discuss about blood pressure what exactly blood pressure is blood pressure is the measurement of force applied to the artery walls by the flowing blood now as the blood flow it applies some pressure over the walls of artery now that particular pressure records for the blood pressure now we will see the types of blood pressure encountered in our body uh, mainly systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure pulse pressure and mean arterial blood pressure now the systolic blood pressure is that particular blood pressure which is recorded or which is present uh, when the heart is in the systole condition or the ventricles contract and pushes the blood into the arteries now the normal value of systolic blood pressure is 120 diastolic blood pressure is the blood pressure which is recorded during the diastole condition of the heart that, uh, that is the con condition when the both the ventricles are in the diastolic state and the pulse pressure yes the pul pre pulse pressure is that pressure which is the difference of systolic blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure now generally systolic blood pressure is 120 mm of hg while that uh, diastolic blood pressure is 80 mm of hg so the pulse pressure recorded is generally 40 mm of hg if it is deviated then there might be any disease condition also the mean arterial blood pressure is there mean arterial by the name you can guess that uh, it is defined it can be defined as the average pressure in the patient's artery during one cardiac cycle so mean arterial blood pressure can be calculated as the average of uh, diastolic and syst systolic according to the time beings of uh, diastolic and systole condition of the heart so by this i conclude my lecture thank you